inspiration behind Chai Tao Hui the musical kind of starts on one sleepless Friday night and then I was just thinking um, I wanted to write the script for next year's Emmy after doing last year's one and I was thinking what are all the things that make Singapore Singapore you know like what are all the Singaporean things to me so actually everyone in this play every character sort of has something to do with me like um, my grandmother back in the day she used to run this hawker stall selling porridge and then my grandfather like really has dementia and he loves to buy bananas but his memory is like really bad these days, can't remember quite a lot of things. Um, my dad is a breast cancer doctor for example, and uh, Andy, Andy is the oldest brother. He's very much the person coming back from studying overseas, which is me in some ways. And Timmy, the youngest brother, he's a great cook, and I love cooking myself. Um, yeah, and then lastly, lastly, the inspiration for the romance was because like back in JC, I actually had a lot of friends uh, who were sort of dating people outside of their races. And you know, I always found it hard to figure out that there was always a lot of resistance from both sides. It didn't matter what race they were. It was always two different families at loggerheads. And that seems to me to be like either just a, a very Singaporean or a very Asian thing to happen. So I wanted to bring all these stories together uh, into one. And I was thinking that this thing song musical would be the best way to do it. So for those of you who see the references, see um, people referring to each other by their Instagrams, like how we always do in Singapore and think, hey, you know, that's a familiar sight. And to all the Singaporeans watching this musical, I just want you to know that Singapore is never too far away. And I hope you really, really enjoy yourselves tonight. I think I drew inspiration for the choreography mainly from the lyrics, because it's really well written by the various composers. I also think that dance is a reflection of the mood of the music, and so that was also a large contribution to how I decided to choreograph the dance and um, it's been quite a journey. <laughs> um, I think it's been really fun to see like the dancers grow from like having two left feet to being able to put on a show. Yeah, and it's really fun during like the various sessions, seeing everyone trying their best and having fun even though they miss up. Yeah. Yeah, I think the dancers really stepped up to the occasion and um, really put in their best effort and it was really heartwarming to see them try their, their best. And it's not only the dancers, the cast members too. Yeah. Um, what kind of standard I set for myself and the team would be, I think maybe for the team, uh, it is something new for a lot of people. So I think the standard that I set for everyone is for them to take away something, learn something new from this uh, major event, and of course to enjoy themselves. Um, and last but not least, to, to create friendships that they did not thought that it would happen. And the expectation I set for myself would be, or rather the standard that I set for myself would be, I would like everyone to enjoy the play while doing the play. Um, I would like uh, I would like to learn a lot more things about uh, the play itself, like directing a play. Um, I think directing a play is a different thing as compared to what I've done before, and from that, I think. Um, the team and I, we grew together a lot. And especially I think 
um, with the help of Hong Yu, which is my co-director, um, I think we learned to embrace the difficulties and we learned to um, tie over any kind of uh, hardships that we've been through. Okay, I'll say the main role of a director is to align us with different teams like pubs, props, corral to come together to produce a show and to make sure like during every rehearsal like each team knows what they're going to do and what's the target for today and last but not least to make sure that everyone is happy and not disappointed in each rehearsal. Uh, it has been quite a long and difficult journey um, but I'm very thankful to have found this group of like-minded individuals who are willing to sacrifice our time from our, our busy schedules to come together to, to write music, to, to play music and to enjoy it together. How long was the process? Huh? Mm, I would say like from last year, July and August, uh, when the script was ready, we started to write the songs. That wasn't very easy. Afterwards, we just uh, rehearsed during the autumn term. And in the spring term, uh, we had to put together the whole production together, the rest of the crew, um, integrating the dance segments, um, the cast singing. So yeah, uh, but the whole process is tough, but we really appreciate the, the fruits of our labor and I hope you guys like it as well. I would say um, writing songs is difficult because um, in a typical musical, one person writes everything, the script, the songs, and, uh, whereas here it's a collaborative effort and we need to be creative while at the same time uh, being accommodating of each other's creative decisions and everything. So that was, I would say, the most difficult part. Obviously, it's also not very easy to gather a big group of people to rehearse once a week, twice a week uh, for like two to, two to three months. <laughs> so I think why we joined any is uh, to kind of get closer to one another and make some new friends because we all came here. It's a new school, a new country. And also to have something um, aside from what we are normally doing every day in school. Like we just, I mean for both of us we are in uh, engineering so we just do a lot of math, a lot of a lot of calculations, so this is like something different, something new that you can do, uh, try here in uh, uni. Yeah. Mm, as to why we chose Corel is because most of us feel that uh, the commitment level for Corel is reasonable and, and that we have uh, many opportunities to showcase our uh, vocal talents here, like Samuel, as well as some many others in the Corel team. And yeah, on a, on a side note, it's like a free karaoke session every week where we can get to enjoy uh, singing with our peers and learning together and uh, yeah, uh, improving ourselves in terms of uh, singing. So. Hi everyone, I'm Singkai, you can call me Rizwan. In this story, Rizwan is an Indian Malay boy who grew up in a hawker centre. And throughout this journey, he has to face a lot of decisions making important choices about his life, about the people that he loves, as well as his future. And I guess that is just where we are all the time. And what we actually can take away from this is that always enjoy the process, reflect on what you have done, and never look back. See you there! <laughs> you go first, <laughs> How I go first? Fine! Okay, I, I go everything first, huh? <laughs> it's fine, fine, fine. Hi, I'm Sihua, and I play Timmy in the musical. Hi guys, I'm Justin, and I play Andy in Chai Tao Kui. This musical has been a really new, interesting experience for me, because it's the first time I've ever been a part of any kind of performance. And I think it's really interesting to see how everything comes together. The cast, chorale, dance, music, and props. Yeah, it's really quite interesting to see how everything comes together seamlessly. For me, it's been a remarkable experience. I've grown close to people from cast, and not only cast, but people from all over Singapore society. It's been a remarkable experience, and from the bottom of my heart, I truly enjoyed this entire musical. But well, honestly, right? <laughs> it's been shit! <sighs> so, we hope you enjoy the musical. Juicy fried chicken. <laughs>
die for. Juicy fried chicken, my ass, I tell you. More like oily fried chicken, ho. You all eat with your combo heart attack. Then come to my store. My store better. My store. My store is much better. Yes. Stop my store. Stop my store.